Okay, finally, I am back with another video. And yes, you did read the title right. I have a stand now. Oh boy, I'm excited. Anyway, if you remember what I said a few videos ago, who knows, the next time you'll see me, I'll be Minecraft Tom, or Demon Slayer Tom, or Pokemon Trainer Tom. Or a stand user, Tomo. Yes, now I am the stand user, Tomo. Now, before we continue with the video, if you feel like something's wrong with my voice, like something is different, if you feel like something is different, I have to tell you, I've been sick for the past few weeks, like really sick, to the point where I hurt my throat coughing too much. It's, it's been really messy. Now, there is a second reason. It's that I just ate a lot of spaghetti just before doing this. So bear with me a bit. Anyway, time to step out of the shade and reveal my new look. Now that I'm a stand user and all. Okay. Three, two, one. Hey, hey, what's up? Tomo is back, and back in Italy. Of course, I am back with my new stand, which I drew myself. I will show you how the process went in a bit. Before that, check this out. Hey, look at me. <laughs> okay, enough. Um, so, I've been watching a lot of JoJo lately, if you couldn't tell. Now, I have to tell you, I don't watch a lot of anime. I mean, I do watch anime. I don't watch a lot of them. First of all, I haven't watched Naruto or Dragon Ball Z. Actually, I have watched Dragon Ball Z, but I don't remember any of it because I watched it so long ago when it was in Cartoon Network or something. Was it in Jetix? I don't remember. I do remember watching Pokemon, but it was pretty long ago too. I haven't watched One Piece. Nope, no One Piece at all. I haven't watched Bleach. So, as you can tell by now, no mainstream stuff. I've only watched them really, you know, deep in the barrel kind of stuff. You have to scrape down for the leftovers and the underrated ones. But I have to tell you, Jojo is one of my favorites. In my 9x9, and yes, I do have a 9x9. 9x9? Nine nine? No, 3x3. Three three. I do have a 3x3. Three three. And in my 3x3, three three, Jojo has a prominent place. One of the best anime I've ever seen. And I love it so much. The artwork, the setting, the story, the voices. I, I can't emphasize this enough. It's so good. Anyway, here's my stand. I will reveal its name towards the end. And I don't really have a story on how my stand came to be. As you know, if you've seen the anime, of course, you need a special something to hit you if you want a stand. I do have a friend working on a story. I would have worked on the story myself, but he was way too excited for this. Anyway, let's get back to Tomo's Bizarre Adventures. And yeah, about my stand. As you can see, the color palette and the design is pretty bold or a regular anime watcher. For people who watch the Jojo, they might understand why this is like this. Yeah. So the colors are my favorite colors. I love pink and blue. The combination just goes too well. So I've used it here. And white, of course. I can't not include Isaac. Oh, you don't know Isaac? The, the ghost. He's hanging out with me all the time. Every intro of my video has him jumping at you. Yeah, well, his name is Isaac. Anyway, coming back to my stand, his looks. Yeah, as you can see, his shoulders have speakers on them. I actually drew this on a piece of paper before transferring it to my phone and then doing the line work. As you can see, he has speakers on his shoulders, which kind of give you an idea about the ability. I call his ability Rhythm's Havoc. Now, I don't know if 
there's a song named Rhythm Havoc, but I didn't necessarily want to go with the song because there are a lot of songs and you know I wanted to step out of the rhythm of it. Although the name is a song. I'll get to it in the end. So yeah, his ability is called Rhythm Havoc. I do need one more ability, but I don't I have just I haven't figured out what it is yet. What does Rhythm's Havoc do? So it, it has something to do with sound, and what it does is it increases the frequency of something, particles of a body, and it can destroy it because everything is a different frequency, it just explodes. Yeah, that's how physics works. Don't ask me for more explanation because I can't help you with it. Anyway, so with that ability, I could make another ability, making it so that it can reverse what it did. Like if it knows how the particles of a body should vibrate enough to get it back to a position, like back to how it was or back to any other form, it can construct things as well. But I thought that would make it a bit too much like Crazy Diamond. I, I don't want that. So let's just not go there. So this is my stand, all done and dusted. It's time I manifest him now. Now it's about time to reveal my stand's name. It, it is a song and it is not that popular among a lot of guys. Like it is a popular song by a popular artist. Uh, it's my favorite artist, by the way. I love this dude. And no, it's not by a band and it's not rock. So that might be a bit of a bummer. But anyway, I love this song and I love this, love the artist. My stand is called Gold Star Money. <laughs> yeah, Joji, that's right. Now, why I chose World Star Money? It's just a stylish name for a stand. And look at him. If he doesn't say World Star Money, I don't know what will. Enough with the shenanigans and stuff. Let's just move on with the video. Now, I wanted to bring in my friend who's working on the story into this video so I could, you know, Get a get a first time experience. I mean, first had reaction of him. But I've been sick, and now he is sick, and we've both been sick at the same time. We just couldn't find the time to do it. So I'll just bring him in in the next video. Yes, there is going to be a Tomo's Bizarre Adventures episode two, where I design my friend's stand, and him of course, because I designed myself and my stand for the story to work out, like for me to animate the story. Well, not necessarily animation, but we'll get to that. To animate the story, I need him and his stand. Let's just say it's going to happen. So with World Star Money, I am actually pretty happy how my stand turned out. Here's his stat card. And yeah, that's about it. Oh, oh no. Feels like something's about to go down. Let me go check on it. And I'll be back. Until then, you guys stay safe. Goodbye.